Okay, so let's say you want to play Halo Infinite with your friend. So you go to, that's not it. So you go to custom games. You activate your other controller. Then you press A. They're like add new. You try to add a guest. It doesn't work. So you exit out. You try to add a guest. Boom. But it still isn't working. So, why doesn't it work? Well, first of all, you're going to need to get rid of the guest account because there's no point in having it. What you really need to do is go in here, press A, if I can resume control. Second. Okay, you might want to exit out if this happens to you. <clears throat> Turn off the controller. In my case, I'll just take out the battery because I only have a battery in there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Turn the controller back on. Wait for the whole thing to load up. And this can work with anybody who has an Xbox account. I'm not sure if any is live or not. But I just know they have to have an Xbox account. You press A. Add new. Then you wait for this to load. Then you add in your Xbox account, which is where we'll stop for a second. And before we continue, just remember that you need to have your main profile connected on here first before you add the new one. So, just remember that. So, once you've got that all done, when you're signed in, then you can press A. Now your character's on there. You can go down to Custom Game or Multiplayer. I'm going to do Custom Game since it's just me. But as you can see, there is now two of us. You cannot do Academy. It will kick you out if you try to play. As you just saw there, it just tried to kick me out. Or maybe you can, I don't really know actually. Let me test. Okay, yeah, see, if you try to launch it, it will remove you from your fire team, so you cannot play Academy. You can, however, do quick play. I'm not gonna do it because, as I said, I only have me. So, you can go in here, choose your maps, Behemoth. Lobby options, you can change all that. Once you press pray, play, not pray. <sighs> Sorry. Press play, loads up. And yes, you can. If you want to, all you have to do is press the three lines also known as the menu button you will take control which will change everything to your spartan settings which is a pretty cool feature so now you can figure out who has control easily as you can see there is now two of us top one's me bottom one's the second account so now i can go over here since this account's never played halo infinite it is just a bare minimum I, I'm so horrible at grappling. But, once you get over here... Look, there's now two people. I'll take the second controller. There it is. And there you have it, split screen in Halo Infinite. Now, we know that we can play with our brothers and sisters, if you have any, or your friends, if you have any. So. But, there we go, split screens in Halo Infinite. 
And let me just show you that taking control part. <clears throat> 1v1. Customary. That's an achievement I'm like, not for me, but the other account. As you can tell, it's green. I have the orange background. So let's say I go to customize armor hall, but I only have these, and I want to customize mine. All I have to do is press menu, and I guess take control. And then as soon as I do that, it might take you through the calibration up process, as in because I've never done this before yet. And back to that real quick. So now you have this over controller, you go to customize, armor hall, and then boom, you have all this. Now you can customize to your heart's desire. Green if you want to. You can go to the shop here. Since this one doesn't have premium, you can't use premium. So premium does not can't, uh, go over. You can buy this. Everything's gonna work for you. And that's how you use split screen on Halo Infinite. Okay, so let's say you want.